First at five tonight, a Marion County man is dead and his brother-in-law is in serious condition after a tractor accident near their property. Last night, Doug Haycock and William Leader were moving some downed trees with a tractor when that tractor malfunctioned and pulled Haycock under it. He died on the scene. Leader was rushed to Emanuel Hospital. KPTV's Jamie Wilson talked to the family. She joins us now live with the very latest. Jamie. Well, these two brothers-in-law were doing what they loved, working together on their land and working towards building something. But they were also using a 70-year-old tractor that they'd had problems with before. They're having a hard time, I have to admit because it's so sudden. Jess Doman says it's a very hard day for him and his whole family. Doman's father-in-law, Doug Haycock, was working in this ravine last night with Bill Leader when everything went wrong. Building some corrals and they were pulling some logs up to either use for corner posts in the corral or to cut up into firewood and, and they had the accident. Deputies say Haycock and Leader were using this 1940s era bulldozer when it stalled. A neighbor brought in another tractor to jumpstart it and Haycock was standing on the tracks. All of a sudden, officials say the tractor started rolling backwards. Haycock got tangled in the tracks and was pulled underneath. Leader suffered severe injuries to his arm, but rescuers credit Haycock's son Mason with saving his life. Yeah, Bill. Apparently had some severe gashes and Mason put on a tourniquet and stopped the bleeding and then tried to do CPR on his father, but he was, he was gone. Haycock spent his life working as an electrician and he just retired in March. He served as a bishop in the Woodburn LDS Church and was recently working with Boy Scouts. He had a rough guy shell, but he was a marshmallow inside. Doman says Haycock's six children and 30 grandchildren were everything to him, and now it just won't be the same without him. So he was a good man. He loved his children and his grandchildren, and uh, going to be sorely missed. And a memorial service for Doug Haycock will be held next Wednesday at the Woodburn LDS Church. William Leader is in serious condition at Emanuel Hospital right now, but his daughter told me that he was alert and talking last night after having surgery. Reporting live tonight, Jamie Wilson, the 5 o'clock news.